Welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 39. The Golden Eagles have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. They're about four yards away here on second down. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Nice play fake. Fires it quickly. It's broken up. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From the 15. Tackle at the 28. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Out of bounds at the 31. They complete the play action pass for a pickup of three. Well, it's a good job here to just secure the football, but he just doesn't have enough speed to turn that into something big. Makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. From their own 33 yard line. Third down. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. it up the middle for a nice run. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 48. Tackle at the 49-yard line. the huddle I'm sure everybody knew the ball was going to go to this receiver and he still brought it in to give this team a big lift it's 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 31. Good outside run there. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Two times, two times. Down he goes at the 14-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 14-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. Pickup. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. It's first down. Defense try to hold their ground here. It's first and goal inside the five. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line deep. And he's taken down around the three-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Just pancake the defense on that one. And he converts the extra point. So a nine play, 57 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. And down he goes at the 27 yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tries to get around the corner. Nice run there. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. around the 43-yard line. And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. From the 47-yard line, first down. yard line. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. Golden Eagles with a touchdown lead. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Deep ball, laying it out there. He's got it, touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And this one's a short kick. 
He's tackled at the 34. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. That's a game of 10 on the play. That'll make it second. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Complete, he's out of bounds. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. He's at the 40. He's tackled right around the 30. From the 30-yard line, first down. He's at the 20. Brought down at about the 15-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. Setting up the play action. Nice play to set up first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Defense in their short yardage package. And it pays off. Touchdown. Once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. This young man is no stranger to the end zone. That's two rushing scores for him on the day, and you have to love the way he's been running the ball all game. And he hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. made at the 29-yard line. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out on the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Second down, six to go. Ball on their own 33. They'll bring him down at the 36. to about the 41-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. This guy is very physical, and he does a good job of taking on blockers. And it's caught, and he's brought down 
quickly. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Focus, defense, focus. Mike Five Ford, wide. Mike yeah. He gets rid of this one. Well, we've got a new quarterback in there. You have to wonder not only how will he do, but what does this do to the starter psyche? Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. And he's taken down at the 45. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost him the possession. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Thrown. I don't think he got anything on that. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. Here they come. He lets it fly. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Still completed it. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Let go, defense. Let go, defense. And here we go. Mike four, Mike four. And that one's incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, second down. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. The Golden Eagles are going to call their second timeout. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 48. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. hands that makes it second and ten. quick strike to the back and he drops it this quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free and they'll look to convert here on another third down He zips it out to the right. He's hit and taken down. Gets it out in a hurry. This is the eighth play of this drive. That makes it second and ten. He 
fights forward to about the 16. And here's a quick throw. Incomplete. Almost picked off. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks away, and he's got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He wants it all. And he's leveled at the 23-yard line. We've still got a half of football remaining. Golden Eagles in front by 11. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. These offenses seemingly took advantage of every opportunity to make a big play. They were prolific, explosive plays at every turn. Offensive coordinators dialing up great calls at just the right moment, it seemed. No, it did seem that way, and, and everything worked. But there's also the other side of the equation, too. And we talk about it all the time. Da-da-da, da-da-da. You want to make top ten plays, and you want to be celebrated. You want to see your clip for a couple days on SportsCenter. But when you're on defense, you can't always make a big SportsCenter play. You can't try to decapitate somebody every single time. It's okay to make the easy tackle, grab their legs, wrap them up. Right now, a lot of sloppy tackling is making the offensive guys look ten times better than they should be. You don't have to make sports center. You could just make the regular, normal, everyday play. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know. Something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Taken down in the backfield. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calling. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Fires quickly to the tight end, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 21. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down at the 29. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. He really got a hold of that one. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. 
The offense is on its way out on the field again, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone in their past couple of drives. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. Second down and 12. Ball on the 30-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 23. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. He's going to air it long. Drops it. Very stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. Not only did that kick prevent a return, but now he's given them almost a full field in front of him. That's a super effort. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punch. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He gets out to about the six-yard line. Two yards there on the option keeper. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. And they push him out around the 25-yard line. down 10 yards to go ball on the 25 delayed hand off and he's not going to get back to the line Quick throw. Knocked out of bounds around the 29-yard line. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on their own 29. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Brought down at the 40-yard line. The last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Nice run there. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's taken down at the 41. That's a deal of 12 on the ground. That makes it first and 10. And he is drilled at the 43. Second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 43. Throw 
is complete, and he's hit hard behind the line. A one-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He lets it fly. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Mike four, Mike four. They're crowding the line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Good stop there by the freshman. You got to be careful with this offensive attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble. defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment and a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Fires to his fullback. No good. So from a yard out, the offense is going to try to stay on the field here on fourth down and goal. Up, up the middle and stopped. And so now the ball's turned over on down. The offense tried to run right by him with the counter play, but the defense was there to make the stop. Great hold, guys. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. Line up at the 13. First down. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 21-10, Golden Eagle. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. A two-yard run by the halfback. That's a gain of two on the play. defense in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. He's at midfield. And he just got drilled. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They're about four yards away here on second down. Four. 
And he just gets rid of it. stop at the 28. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. He's tackled right around the 18-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. made around the 19-yard line. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Brought down the 17-yard line. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. Right now, they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in, but they have to finish the job. And the plays start to add up, so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. And this play is number eight on the drive. Gets to about the 14-yard line. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. play the drive under a minute left takes a knee The Golden Eagles coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.